Well, here on Gunmark TV today, we've got a really nice cracking new side-by-side uh, -side, uh, from FAIR and they're distributed by the, uh, the boys at Artemis UK and they, they very kindly lent me this 12 gauge side-by-side -side version. You can get them from 410 to 12 gauge, which is very, very nice. I quite fancy one in 410 to be honest with you. As I say, it's a very nice classic side-by-side -side ejector model. You can get non-ejector models if you want to. Auto safety, lovely bit of uh, walnut here and it's all, all made in Italy. So good quality, very lightweight and absolutely fantastic handling. What is also nice about this being a side-by-side -side, and it's a, a new type of side-by-side, -side, you have multi-choke, very, very useful. And of course, very importantly these days, it's still shot proofed. So let's go and uh, take it out in the field. We'll shoot some, uh, a variety of ammunition for it and see how she patterns. I'm really looking forward to testing this side-by-side, -side, the fair eye side. It'll be very, very interesting. We've got a few game loads here and a pigeon load. First up, we've got Hull's really nice copper-plated 5.5 shot with a plastic case on this. It's driven grouse. This will pattern very, very nicely with the half choke. We'll have a look. Also, another real nice traditional load, and I really like these. They're 65mm length, which is more consumer to the side-by-side, uh, -side, although this has a longer chamber. Uh, you can use these with... Uh, a variety of shot loading but I've got 30 grams of number six. We'll see how those shoot. Then a nice pigeon load, as always the Ely Pigeon Select and that's a great load and that's got a plastic wall on this but it's 30 grams of number six shot which is quite hard hitting, get good range on those. And then finally, this is an unbelievable round. I know they're quite pricey but it's Winchester Extra Duophasin and this has a dual load of five and seven shot and it's really, really nice and it's 36 grams. So we'll see how that shoots with a half choke uh, on the pattern balls. So let's go ahead and uh, shoot the driven grouse first. Right, so let's try those driven grouse. Half choke, 30 yards. Also safety, remember, take that off. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's quite, I can't say quite mild, but that, actually the recoil on that, with a straight grip, wasn't hitting me at all. That was, that was very nice, well, that was a very nice load that. I can't remember what that was now, let's have a look. Yeah, 32 grams of 5.5. .5. Yeah, very nice. Let's go look at the pattern board. Yeah, as you can see, the copper plated shot there really does help to avoid distortion and clumping of the shot down range and gives tighter patterns. Uh, we had a total of 236 pellets uh, hit the pattern boards. Slightly left hand, bi left hand bias, but it was very windy when we were testing it. Uh, but we're still getting 112 inner strikes, and that's within the 15 inches. And the remaining 124 uh, pellets hit the, the outer sectors. So a very nice, consistent, and hard hitting around the driven grouse. Well, let's try those uh, Hulls Imperial game. It's a real favorite of mine. Really good all around, and it's got game on there, but I say you can use it anything, pigeon, vermin, game, the lot. So, water safety off. Half choke, 30 yards. Just very mild to shoot, very little recoil. Straight in line, so if you had a second shot on that, you'll be tracing a bird or a pigeon or a rabbit, in my case. <laughs> let's go and see the pattern ball search shot. Well, that's where I really like these Hull Imperial game. They're just such a classic um, game round to have. It's um, 30 grams of number six shot. And look at that pattern board. We had 271 pellets hit overall. Very central, incredibly consistent, and a dense pattern, exactly what you want. And we had 182 inner hits, I mean, a very, very dense pattern, especially on that half choke, it's amazing. And then the remaining 89 uh, pellets hit on the outer section. That's why these those Imperial games are just such a really nice uh, cartridge and very, very compatible in this uh, fair aside shotgun today. Okay, so let's try pigeon load now. That's Ely's Pigeon Select, and that's uh, 30 grams number six. That's a really nice load to have, actually. So let's see how it's, it's patterning very, very nice and tight and really symmetrical on these pattern boards. So let's hopefully, that's a kiss of death, but let's have a look. Oh, again, really mild to shoot, and it's really, I'm, I'm, when I'm actually putting it up, I'm like, it's right down. The cast on this, everything is perfect for me. And I'm shooting dead on with the bead and the pattern board center actually on the bead there. And we're getting totally symmetrical patterns on it. Fantastic, anyway, let's go and have a quick look. Yeah, well, there you are. See, look, the Pigeon Selects are exactly the same loading as the Imperial game we just shot earlier. And it's very interesting to see the difference in the pattern. This is much more um, spread out. We still had 264 pellets hit the board, but this time we had 116 inner hits, 148 outer uh, strikes. So that's why we test these shotguns on the pattern boards. It does really show the compatibility between different cartridges and the barrels that you're actually using. And finally, we're going to use uh, a good all-rounder again. It's more of a game load, and it's Winchester's Joe Faison. 
and this has 36 grams of number five and seven shot. That's really interesting load, so let's see how this shoots. Be interested to see what the recoil's like as well, and uh, it's patterning quite tight, which is very nice on this uh, fair. Oh yeah, that's a little bit more stout. Obviously it's 36 grams, but totally manageable. Oh, that's nice, let's go see what the pattern did on that. Yeah, that 36 gram load was shooting a little bit low on the pattern boards, but we had a good um, overall number of pellets hit, and that's 265 pellets on that half choke, uh, of which we had 103 inner hits and 162 outer strikes. And if you look closely at the board, you can see the difference between the, uh, the number five and number seven shot there. Uh, it's a really good sort of dense pattern, but say it's a little bit low, but you know, I'll just aim a bit higher next time. Okay, so let's go and have a look a little bit more detail into this Ferroside EM model. As you said, it's a 12 gauge, you can get other calibers, and here we've got the 30 inch barrel model. And again, you can get shorter barrels if you like, but 30 inches on a side by side game gun is actually quite nice. It improves swing very, very well. Overall length is 47 inches, and it weighs about 3.2 kilograms, which is sort of just under um, seven pounds weight. And what is nice and traditional on this model is you have the rounded box lock type action, making it a little bit different from normal. And also of great importance these days is you have a multi-choke system and the barrels are three inch chambered and they're steel proofed. So you can shoot any type of high pressure rounds because it's got fleur de lis uh, steel proofing on it, which is a great feature to have. Okay, let's look a little bit closer at the action. As you said, it's a round, rounded profile design. It's forged steel, which is great, makes it very strong, and it's pleasant to look at as well. And strictly speaking, it's not really a box locked um, design. It's a type of it's a type of box lock, but it has the hammers, the springs which operate the hammers outside the body of it, body of the action. But then it doesn't have a side plate either, so it's kind of like a hybrid. But it does have the um, coil springs instead of the traditional V springs, making it very very positive on firing, uh, which is a, which is great. Also, lock, lock up um, on the barrel to the action is your traditional monoblock. And if you look closely, when you actually take the barrels out, the action and the barrels and the um, abutments and lock up are very solid with very few machine marks. It's a nice little feature they have here on the fair. You can just tell it's, it's they thought about the manufacture process here. Although it's CNC, it's done very, very nicely. Uh, this model has a single trigger and it's of an inertia type. So basically the first, um, shot on the barrel will actually initiate the cocking of the, the spring and hammer for the second shot. Um, some people like that, some people don't. It's very reliable, we had no problems at all whatsoever. You'll have an auto safety, that's a bit marmite, I must admit I, I prefer a manual safety, but this is an auto safety. And the barrel selector is a little button within the auto safety, <clears throat> as usual. And in the left position, showing two little dots, that selects the left barrel, and we had half choke. And if you move the button to the right, it shows a single dot, and we had a quarter choke in this model. And if you look a bit closer at the actual action, it says that it's, say it's nicely rounded, so it gives a low profile, and very pleasant with really good aesthetics to it. I, I do really like the metal to wood finish. You have these little sort of uh, widow's peaks coming in here, and they say the, the wood to metal finish is really excellent on these fair shotguns. At uh, this price point, it's excellent. You also have the game scenes, which are to all faces. So on the right side, you have a rising, yeah, a rising grouse. We flip it over. On the bottom, you have a rising woodcock. And to left side, it looks, yes, yeah, a rising partridge. And these are all encapsulated or surrounded by very fine scroll engraving. It's not overly deep, but then again, it doesn't look cheap either. It's a nice blend, which contrasts nicely with the blued um, steel of the rest of the, the barrel. I'm talking about blued steel, the trigger guard actually itself is blued. Again, nice contrast with the addition of some scrolling as well. And if you look at the top lever, this has scrolling and it's also been pierced just to give a little bit of interest, which is you know, just a nice feature to have. Okay, let's have a little bit closer look at those barrels. First, you notice is the fantastic, deep, really deep, lustrous bluing. It's absolutely perfect the outside. Very, very nice indeed. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. You also have uh, traditional on a uh, side by side, a smooth concave rib and a single bead as a foresight. And as we said, the 30 inch barrels on this model particularly really swung and led very, very nicely um, on the targets we were shooting out in the field. And it's, it's a really lovely little, tr well, not trim, but it just handled superbly. 
uh, as we said before, it's still shot proof, so it has your fleur de lis uh, CIP proofing for high pressure rounds. It's three inch chambered if you want to. Um, and you also have the bores, which are 18.4 millimeters. Uh, so that's a good for a range of fiber or plastic wad system. Interestingly as well, and more importantly these days on side by sides to make them more current, you have the multi-choke system. These are flashed to the end of the barrels. They're struck off very nicely and you have a full set or complement of five ranging from cylinder all the way up to full choke. As we said, we had quarter and half and we used a half for the shot patterns you'll see later on in the test. And then finally, the uh, ejectors on the system are very, very strong. Again, you'll see that nicely timed and very strong. So that really only leaves the stock which, as you'd expect on a side-by-side, -side, is your traditional straight gripped. And although the Warner, I've got to be fair, let's, let's look at the Warner actually. It's, you know, the name of the, the, the shotgun is fair and the shot and the Warner is fair. It's not fantastically figured, but it is very strong and it has some nice interest in there. And when you actually play it in the light, you will get some tiger striping there. And it seems to have a very light, sort of light lacquering varnish finish to it as well. But I do like this straight grip. There's been an Italian gun, you do get quite a low comb, so your um, eye uh, is very low on uh, the rib, or it's, I think it's really designed for walk-up game, etc. But I got quite a long face, and it, I, I like, like it, I must admit, and I had no problem with recoil whatsoever. The length of pull is a little bit short for me, it's 14.5 inches. And the one feature I don't like, and I don't like it on any gun, especially rifles and on shotguns, it's got a plastic butt pad or butt plate here, and I find that very slippery. I know you can get it into your shoulder quickly, but it was slipping around a little bit. I, I would replace that, I must admit. I would replace it with a solid or traditional red rubber, and that will increase the length of pull, making it a little bit better for me as well, actually thinking about it, that would actually be quite good. Another nice feature is the uh, skip line checkering. It's quite fine. It does give a little bit of grip, but you have excellent coverage all the way down here on the butt pad, a uh, butt plate, a uh, butt stock here, going to almost a further way into it here. And on the slender fore end, it's to um, both sides uh, and underneath. So really, that's all there is to it. Well, there you have it. The fair is a fantastic uh, Italian made side by side with some lovely modern features. And I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>